This is the number one logic tip based on views when I've done tips in short form before, and it has to do with MIDI notes not playing if you start in the middle of sustained notes. So if you've got a sequence like this and it's playing along, all is good until you start to try playback in the middle of sustained notes. So for example, if we go into the middle of these sustained notes here and start playback, we won't hear anything. The notes are there, but Logic is waiting to see the beginning of notes to sound them off. So if we start playback before the sequence and it sees all these notes, it's gonna play them all. But if we start in the middle of those notes, we won't hear anything. So in Logic, they call this feature chase, like it's chasing the MIDI notes. And it's a project MIDI setting, not to be confused with a global MIDI setting because there are global MIDI settings, but there's also under file, you'll see project settings. And that's where you'll find this feature under MIDI. And it's right there called chase. And it may or may not be on by default so just go there and click on and lo and behold when you start in the middle of a sustained note you've got all the notes playing now this MIDI chase feature is great for most instruments but if those notes are triggering loops or sequences it can actually make life difficult and again if you start the playback before the loop begins or before the note all is good But if you happen to start in the middle of a measure, you might be off rhythm and it'll stay off rhythm until the next cycle starts like this. And if you are holding that loop or sustaining that note that's triggering the loop or the sequence over measures, it will be off time for the duration. Now, if you haven't experienced any of these kind of problems, consider yourself lucky, because this is the stuff that makes people pull their hair out. And it could be that the instrument you're using is smart enough to figure things out, like this drum loop from Unify. Even if you start it off the measure, you'll hear the bass drum flam, but then it straightens itself out, even though you didn't start it directly on the beat. So when it comes to MIDI and virtual instruments, it can, be, no, it is frustrating at times. We all go through it. And just remember that it's because it's virtual, because we're dealing with computers, sometimes it's not like the old days where if you weren't getting a signal into the console, you could trace it down to a cable that wasn't plugged in. So just take the time to better understand how this stuff works. And I hope that these videos help. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. And one last thing I wanna say about virtual instruments and MIDI is the best way to deal with them is to print them as audio inside of your session. And we'll get to this idea in another video.